Dion Joubert on pole again for round 20 of the AA Bitcare series and alongside him this time, Sean Watson-Smith. After his round 19 accident, Sean van der Linde was an absentee with Julian Bailey alone on the second row in the Minolta Camry. Anthony Taylor in the Castle Camry shared the third row with Terry Moss in the Rothmans Audi Quattro. Round 19 winner Grant McCleary was down in seventh place alongside Steve Windham's Cecil Ford Mondeo. Chris Aberdeen in the second Rothmans Audi and Nick Duval in the BP Nissan Sentra shared the fifth row. The AA Fleet Care Super Touring Championship action continues. A couple of vacant places on the grid for round 20 at the AA Fleet Care Super Touring Championship with Sean van der Linde and Sarah van der Merwe out of action. These are anxious moments for the drivers, but we look to have a good clean start with Dion Jumea, Sean Watson-Smith and Julian Bailey leading the charge into the total curves. Watson-Smith is trying to go around the outside, but discretion is the men of Vela and he tucks in behind the BMW Enviro car. Anthony Taylor is fourth as the field streams up the hill towards the double left-hander at Nashua Corner. One of the Audis is trying to find a way around Taylor on the outside with round 19 winner Grant McCleary tucked in behind Steve Windham's Sassel for Mondeo. Dion Joubert fought out a terrific battle with Grant McCleary in round 19 and now he leads Sean Watson-Smith on the first lap in round 20. Race cam action is from the rear-facing camera on Joubert's car with Watson-Smith tucked in behind the BMW. Julian Bailey is third in the Minolta Toyota Camry and it looks as though Terry Moss in the Rothmans Audi Quattro has forced his way past Anthony Taylor to move into fourth place. More race cam action, this time from the Chris Aberdeen Rothmans Audi and a bird's eye view of the Rothmans S's with Aberdeen tucked in behind Gilles de Villiers in the BP Nissan Sentra as they start the climb up to West Bank Corner. The tabletop at West Bank Corner in action as Anthony Taylor fights back and slips through on the inside of Terry Moss to claim back fourth place from the Rothmans Audi car. Moss is not an easy man to pass, but he left the gap on the inside and Taylor was perfectly positioned to take full advantage of the situation. This is the Havilene sweep with Joubert ahead of Watson Smith, Bailey, Taylor in the second Toyota Camry and Terry Moss as we pick up race cam action from Steve Windham in the Sassel Ford Mondeo. And Grant McCleary sneaks through on the inside to pick up a place. Windham is running in the middle of the field and it hasn't been a happy day for the Sassel Ford squad. A step in the corner and Watson Smith is going for the lead. He outfoxed Dion Joubert at the same corner in the previous race and is trying it again. This time around, Joubert is better placed to fight back and the cars are side by side down the Gazette straight. Joubert has the inside line for the total curves. Race cam action from Joubert and where is Watson Smith? There he is, trying to force his way through on the inside. That's a bold move and the two cars almost touch, but Joubert has stuck to his guns and Watson Smith is forced to back off. The new kid on the block is at it again and starting to make life uncomfortable for race leader Dion Joubert. Watson Smith got a little offline coming out of Nashua and Julian Bailey is having a look on the outside of the Goodyear sweep. Look at this, three cars lined the rest in the Goodyear. It's Moss, Taylor and McCleary, and that is placing every ounce of faith you have in the driver next to you at around 180 kilometers an hour. Even Steve Windham must have had his heart in his mouth, but it's not over yet. McCleary and Moss are almost touching as Taylor leads the mad charge into the Rothman S's. This is super cheering action at its best, and Windham has problems as one of the Nissan tries to muscle its way past. That's Nick Duval, and right behind him is teammate Janil de Villiers with Wyndham under siege and a battle royal going on ahead of the trio. Taylor leads Moss and McCleary through West Bank, and just look at the battle that's developing between Steve Wyndham and the two BP Nissan Sentras. Chris Aberdeen, also a player in the Rothmans Audi, with German driver Sabina Reck not afraid to mix it either. It's gripping stuff as the leaders take the pack through the Havilene sweep. It's foot flat through the sweep and hard onto the brakes for the AA Bowl, and Wyndham in the Sassel Ford Mondeo has the two Nissans climbing all over him through the AA Bowl. Race cap excellent from the Aberdeen's Audi. Nick Duval got boxed in at the bowl and Aberdeen picks up a place, but this middle of the pack tussle is far from over. The leaders are long gone, but there's a racer's pride at stake here. A lot of these super touring drivers come up through the ranks of Stanek Group M Racing. Steve Windham, Shadil de Villiers, Chris Aberdeen and Nick Duval were all leading Group M drivers and close racing with a little swapping of paintwork here and there is nothing new to them. Windham in the Sassel Ford Mondeo has pulled out a car length or two on Janil de Villiers. Aberdeen and Duval are having a tremendous tussle. And Sabina Reck is right there with them and waiting to pounce on the slightest mistake.
back to the race leaders and Dion Joubert's BMW Enviro car is still holding off Sean Watson Smith's Opel Vectra. Julian Bailey has lost a little ground in third place with the battle between Anthony Taylor, Terry Moss and Grant McCleary still in full swing. Then comes the midfield battle that's raging between Wyndham, the second Audi, the two PB Nissans and Sabina Rec. Taylor, Moss and McCleary are having run a heck of a scrap and this little battle could finally be decided by tyres. Boss had a good run recently in the 24-hour race at spa franco Sham Grand Prix circuit, and here's the advantage of four-wheel drive on the Rothmans Audi. Both the Rothmans Audis are now fitted with sequential gearboxes, and it shows in the improved lap times from both cars. The battle between Wyndham and company could also be decided by tyre wear, but it's fascinating stuff while it lasts. sweep of race cam action from race leader Dion Joubert in the BMW Enviro car and Sean Watson Smith is piling on the pressure again. Pops of smoke from both cars as they lock up the brakes for the AA Bowl. The Opal looks to be a bit quicker than the BMW out of the tighter corners and Watson Smith is pulling up alongside the BMW. Joubert had the tighter line for the AA King but Watson Smith is starting to make his intentions clear. He wants the lead. Once again, the Opal looks to be quicker than the Enviro car, accelerating out of the tight corners. And Watson Smith is alongside the BMW as they head into the total curves. They are side by side with Joubert forced onto the curves, and Watson Smith has done it. That was brave stuff from both drivers, but Watson Smith had the better line for the left hand of the total curves. Joubert is fighting back at Nashua, and behind these two, Julian Bailey is third in the Minolta Camry. The Class B battle, and once again we have a tremendous scrap on the racetrack. Leon Marie and the Bank Fintoda Sprinter Leeds Championship leader Duncan Foss of the Accord Nissan and Hein Ladegan and the Vauderville VW Jetta. These three have been locked together throughout the race and have been indulging in a mini war of their own. Ladegan missed the previous race after a tangle with Marie and Kurzy Swanepoel, but is back with a vengeance this time around. The growth of Class B has been a feature of this season's AA Fleet Care Super Touring Championship. The front runners are starting to produce some superb racing, and Maria's under attack from Voss at the AA Bowl. Duncan Voss had a look up the inside, and there was a bubble smoke from the Nissan. It looks as though Voss could have a problem. Hein Ladegan has moved ahead of the Nissan. The championship leader, Duncan Voss, is back to third after scoring his seventh win in a row in the first race. change in the race order. Watson Smith leads Joubert, but Anthony Taylor has dropped out of the top five with Julian Bailey still third, but Grant McCleary has moved into fourth with Terry Moss fifth, and McCleary is looking for a way past Julian Bailey. McCleary moved inside the Vinolda Camry, exiting West Bank corner, and as the cars power down the Caltex mine shaft, the Opal will have the better line for the Havilene sweep. McCleary is through on the inside under braking of the AA Bowl and Terry Moss is following him in the Rossman's Audi. McCleary up to third, Moss is fourth and Julian Bailey has been relegated to fifth all in one easy move. Anthony Taylor in the Caspel Camry has dropped right out of contention in this battle and he must have a problem. After winning the first race, Grant McCleary has a three-point lead over Joubert in the battle for second place in the championship. Joubert and race leader Sean Watson-Smith have disappeared into the distance. But where Joubert and McCleary are concerned, every point is crucial. If matters stay as they are, McCleary's lead will be cut to just one point. The Class B battle, and Hein Ludigan has taken over the lead from Leon Marie. VW Jetta leads Toyota Sprinter, leads Nissan Sprinter. Duncan Foss is hanging on to third place, but there's still smoke from the back of the Accord Nissan. With Kursi Swanepoel dropping back, third place for Voss won't damage his position at the top of the championship. Hein Ladegan is a former dual South African single-seater champion, and he is looking for his third Super Touring win this season. Back to another hectic scrap, and Steve Windham, Nick Duval, and Chris Aberdeen have been at it throughout the race. Nick Duval in the VP Nissan Centre had the better line in the Havilene sweep, and Windham is in trouble! Duval is through and Aberdeen also gets past the Sassel Ford Mondeo at the AA Bowl. Both the Nissan and the Audi bear the battle scars of what has been a terrific cameo performance from the trio. If you have a close look at the Rothmans Audi, you'll see the race cam mounted on the outside of the window, and that has given us some marvellous action footage. This is the final lap, and Sean Watson-Smith has eased away from Dion Joubert. The race leaders have lapped the Class B front runners, and Sean Watson-Smith is on his way to victory in only his second Super Touring race. 
The only thing that can stop Watson Smith from winning this race is mechanical failure or a serious case of brain fade. It's been a marvellous weekend for the Port Elizabeth driver. He's been on the pace right from the word go and almost snatched pole position for both races. He led round 19 virtually from the start to finish and then gave the win to Ralph McCleary to help his teammate in a championship struggle with Dion Joubert. Behind Watson Smith and Joubert, the situation also looks to be cut and dried. Grant McCleary in third has a cushion over Terry Moss in the Rothmans Audi, with Julian Bailey in fourth. Behind Lardigan, still a lead class B from Leon Marie and Duncan Foss, and that's the closest battle on the racetrack as Sean Watson Smith heads for the chequered flag. Through the AA Bowl for the last time, and there are just two corners left for Sean Watson Smith. Deputising for champion Mike Briggs, who's overseas competing in the British Touring Car Series, Watson Smith has seized his big opportunity with both hands. Inter has stepped in the corner for the last time, and John Wheeler has the checker flag out for Sean Watson Smith. More drama at AA Kailami as Sean Watson Smith, in only his second outing, wins round 20 of the AA Big Gear Super Touring Championship. What a day for Sean Watson Smith. Second place goes to Dion Joubert with Grant McCleary, Terry Moss, Julian Bailey and Anthony Taylor also in the points. Joubert is now just one point behind McCleary in the championship. And in a blanket finish, Hein Lodigan just edged out Leon Marie to win Class B. A moment Sean Watson Smith will always remember. The winner's rostrum in only his second super touring race, and there is one happy young man. We spoke after round 19 of the AA Fleet Care Touring Car Championship to Sean Watson Smith and spoke about a dream debut. We then mentioned that round 20 was ahead and that he was second on the grid for that one. Well, Sean, what do we truly say? Absolutely magnificent in that win. I still can't, I really can't believe it, you know. To the beginning of the week, and I knew I had this opportunity. I was so nervous and all because you always have these doubts: will I be able to be on the pace and, and that type of thing? You know, and I was under a lot of pressure because I have a lot of friends who, who said to me, you know, they believe in me and, and I can do it and this type of thing. You know, and you always dream of winning, but I didn't really think it it, it was possible. You know, and uh, I was under so much pressure from from all of them to perform. There's so many people who said, "Are you sure you can do it?" You know. Uh, but it's uh, just had a fantastic fairy tale ending. I, I can't believe it. I must say thanks to the team. You know, Opal made a, built a fantastic motor car. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, you can't do it without good equipment. You have to realize that. And the car was absolutely fantastic. For Sean, at the same time, I must tell you, coming down the Gustafna straight into those total curves, unbelievable stuff there on the inside of, of Dion Jabe and the Virocar BMW. Well, the lap before, I nearly had him. And uh, he actually went around the outside of me at total. I thought, no, no. <laughs> I can't let this happen too often. He rode around the outside of me a total, which was a, a great move. But the next time, I was just a little bit further ahead of him, you see, so he had to give way. Sean, obviously, after a debut like that, a great future ahead of you. The guys know exactly. Nobody needs to ask any more questions about your future, really. It's surely got to be in super touring cars. Well, uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, obviously, I think it's probably going to be very difficult to drive my Group N car now <laughs> because, you know, it's just not not meant to be a racing car like this is a real racing car uh, so it'll, it'll take some adjustments but um, you know if I if, if I race Group M for Opal next year I'll, I'll be happy you know obviously I want to race touring cars but uh, Grant and Mike are fantastic drivers and if you know if there's no gap in the team then I just have to accept it and wait my turn I just know that when it arrives I'm going to be in the fighting chance for the championship. AA Fleet Care is proud of its association with Audi, BMW, Ford, Nissan, Opel, Toyota and the action-packed SA Super Touring Championship. The AA Fleet Care Super Touring Championship, Africa's most exciting racing formula.